What's up, everybody? My name is Eric Vlad. Thank you guys so much for subscribing to my channel. I really do appreciate you guys coming on. Geeks could do me a huge favor and just give us a thumbs up. Let's YouTube know we're just good people. We'll keep making these videos. Let's talk bleach, pool essentials, and pool shock, okay? A lot of times we use the word bleach in our substance when we're talking about down, um, when, when we're talking about uh, soft washing and we're gonna be talking about downstream injectors and we're gonna be talking about uh, soft washing a house. So this here is like, this is 5.7 I believe. Uh, this is the stuff that we just use in our, in our laundry, um, but I just wanted to pull this up to show you guys, you guys could use this. Um, they also have another bleach out there, it's like 7.9%. Uh, then you have another, uh, it's called Pool Essentials, it starts at 10%. The other ingredients in there, it says like 94% and 96% all this other stuff. It's just water in there, okay? Uh, and then you got a thing called uh, Pool Shock, which is 12% or higher. When I say or higher, 12% in the jugs that look like this, in the big 50 gallon jugs or the 15 gallon jugs, it's gonna be probably a little bit, you would hear the word hotter, it's, it's more concentrated, if you will, because it's brand new. So the shelf life of this stuff isn't very long um, to stay, quote unquote, hot, right? So you got probably three, three and a half, four months, and I would say it's, it's diluted enough to where it's not gonna do much on the side of the house for you, okay? So what can you use? Okay, so if you're using pool essentials, you can get it at Walmart, you can get it at this stuff at Menards, Lowe's, Home Depot, a lot of people get confused because it's, it's bleach. You don't know where to get it if you can't find it at Walmart, right? <laughs> For some reason, or you can't find it at your local store. Think of this, go to Google, which is a phenomenal tool nowadays. You can just look up about anything. So go to Google and type in there, uh, pool place near me. Again, that's pool place near me, not .com, just pool place near me. And what that's gonna pull up is somebody, places that, and if you can't find that around, you're selling hot tubs. Uh, who sells hot tubs near me? Those people have to keep up their products, which a pool takes bleach and pool shock, right? Okay, not, not rocket scientists here. It's just, this is where you can get these bigger drums at. Um, pool essential places um, that you would also have would be that sell hot tubs. A lot of people sell hot tubs. I mean, there's just about anywhere you can find hot tubs, right? So I think that's important to know. A lot of people ask me that question. I coach a lot of people on this stuff, and so, very first thing you said, where do I get it? I can't find it. I'm like, you haven't found it at you know Walmart, Lowe's, Home Depot, Menards, anything? Oh, no, no, no. I said, well, did you find a pool place near you? No, we don't have one. I'm like, what's your address? Okay, I see 15 right near you. You know, it happens every time. So uh, to give you an idea. Now, if you have a pool essential and uh, for every gallon, you can put a teaspoon, that's right, a teaspoon of the Dawn. Oh, you're gonna make mustard gas. Well. Use the one that says on the back of it, it says okay to use bleach or, or it doesn't say um, do not use bleach on it. There's a specific Dawn that does it's blue. Um, you can get them from the dollar store. You can get them from stuff, things like that. But be careful with this stuff. This is bleach. This is bleach, you guys. At the end of the day, this can give you a chemical burn. Matter of fact, I don't know. You probably won't be able to see it. See this right here? It looks like a, a tan line. That's actually a chemical burn um, because I was being just careless out at a job. Uh, I was sitting there spraying it down and it, my my nozzle had a little leak. I mean, it was just like, shh, shh, right? And it wasn't really bad or nothing, but it was still careless because it is, um, it is a concentrated product that can harm you, actually. It can give you a chemical burn, okay? I didn't think nothing of it. I just kept wiping it off, wiping it off. And then lo and behold, I'm like, my hands, my arms on fire. But you can see that, right? So I put some hydro, um, hydroperoxide on there, uh, keep a bottle. Hydroperoxide actually neutralizes bleach. I don't know if you guys knew that, but something to keep on the truck. So if your face starts to like, feel like you're burning, tap, you know, put it on the cloth, tap your face with it a little bit and it neutralizes the bleach, okay? So you don't get a chemical burn and it stops the burning it, um, process of it. So it neutralizes it, okay? Um, if you get a, um, well anyway, so that's that. Uh, so one tablespoon, for every gallon, one tablespoon for every gallon. It's not that hard. So you get one tablespoon, which is like a little squirch, right in the bucket with the pool essential or bleach or um, uh, pool shock, right? That's what you have. 
That's what you have. You can put that in there. Can you use laundry detergent? Um, can you use laundry detergent like this? As long as it says that you can't put bleach in it, okay? As long as you say don't put bleach. Do not mix ammonia and bleach. Do not mix, um, for some reason, piss and bleach. I don't know why you would ever do that, but that can cause a, a terrible gas. Um, watch what you're mixing with this stuff because it actually can kill you. So I would highly recommend you, if you're starting out, regardless of what you're putting in there, um, even if you're just putting in bleach, wear respirator, wear glasses at all time. I had a guy, um, he was doing a gutter like this and a uh, drop of bleach from the top. So it was, it was already coming out um, at a lower percentage. It was coming out at like one and a half percent and it dripped in his eye and his eye it almost went blind. So you gotta be careful. One of my guys, he was like, what do I do? I'm like, go to the hospital. What do you mean, what do you do? <laughs> like, go to the hospital, get that shit rinsed out. So it's important for me to tell you guys to go ahead and make sure that you guys are very safe with this because yeah, a lot of times you're like, it's just bleach. No, it's bleach. If you put bleach and you keep it in the heat and it starts gassing up, that can kill you, right? It gets into your lungs and can kill you. A lot of these guys out there are just spraying with, you know, tank tops on or, you know, shorts and they're not, you know, watching what they're, the overspray is, man, it's coming all over you. Do me a favor, if you don't think you get overspray and you just wear a regular t-shirt, black t-shirt, and go out for the day and see how much overspray is comes on you. Think about it. All the, the little white dots all over your shirts and all of your clothes that you got. Now there's a way to get around that. If you use 100% polyester shirts, it won't bleach. You'll, have, you'll be walking around with a shirt that looks just like this, but it's 100% polyester and it won't harm it, okay? So bleach won't, won't touch that stuff. Uh, so and that's gotta be 100% polyester. And that's just from making t-shirts and, and knowing how that all works out. Sublimation t-shirts, that's why a lot of guys have those done from other companies. I'm not gonna say the company out there, the big one out there, but it's a little dramatic on the prices, I think. $125 setup fee, steep. Um, so yeah, so there's that. Uh, if you guys have any questions, concerns, um, you know, be careful. It is bleach, for goodness sakes. It's a chemical. Um, label your stuff. If you have it in a regular bottle, label it. I have a guy that I coach about killed himself three times, man. I was like, what are you doing? Don't you label your stuff? No, I didn't think about it. Well, why not? I mean, so I will tell you guys, you know, don't be creative with this stuff, okay? Just don't start mixing shit in here with bleach because it's, it's, at the end of the day, it can get you in some big trouble. Um, and wear a respirator, especially if you're doing house washing and, and soft washing a house. Um, it's okay. Um, probably if you're gonna be a homeowner doing it by yourself once in a while, like once a year, but you guys are gonna be around this stuff constantly. Save your lungs, man. Your lungs are gonna be with you to the, obviously the day you die. So you don't wanna harm yourself and think, you know, well, I've been doing it for 15 years this way with no respirator. Well, congratulations. You are gonna be the one that's gonna be up in the hospital bed that can't freaking breathe one day because you guys were soft washing for 15 years. You don't wanna do that. You wanna keep your lungs healthy. You only have one body. You don't get to live on this earth very long. So live it to your best, right? Enjoy it and, and save your body. That's the most important thing. Wear goggles, uh, wear glasses. Um, if, you, if you have glasses, a lot of people wear um, sunglasses. Just try to have a Brema on the side too. So when you're putting this in, it doesn't splash up on you. Um, if it does splash up on you, you know, make sure that you rinse out real good um, your face, your your lip, if it comes on your lip, your, it's, I mean, anything where it's gonna drip, you gotta get it off of there, okay? Um, I'm shooting a video, of course, there would be a horn that's going off now. <laughs> I'm just kidding. Um, I'm not, but it really went off. But if you guys have any questions, just let me know. Again, so let's just do a recap of this really quickly. For every gallon of bleach, you're gonna do one teaspoon of Dawn, okay? Or one teaspoon of laundry detergent, depending on what you use. Make sure it doesn't have ammonia in it, okay? Gosh, please, 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 no ammonia, okay? And bleach, horrible, horrible stuff. Um, you can use, uh, what do you use on a roof? A roof, you could use like a 50-50. Um, and siding, you'd be want to be at like one, one and a half percent, depending on how bad it is. Um, that's just for vinyl, okay? Uh, sidewalks and driveways, I keep it right around about 2%. Uh, I like it a little bit hot just to put on there. Again, how you apply it and things like that, that's gonna be a different video. This is just kind of a rough estimate for you guys. You'll get it dialed in exactly what you want, but always trial and error in a little area. Don't just start spraying the whole house, right? Um, and making sure that you put the right products in, which is 
you know, use a bleach, use a pool uh, essentials, use pool shock, find it, make sure it's the right stuff, and be safe out there, guys. I love you. Until next time, see you.